Hi friends, myself Raymond Blay. Today I will show you the configuration of TP-Link 16 port gigabit smart switch with 2 SRP slot. This is my new child. You can see here. I just go to here. Okay. There are 16 ports. 4, 4, 4 and 4 and 2 SFP modules. Okay. Here we have the LED indications. And let me check. There's an installation guide and a power socket. And now you can see here the clamps. Okay. We'll find the installation guide. Okay. You can see the front front up panel appearance and everything. And I would like to know the default IP address. It's also providing the GUI based and CLI based configuration details. You can see here this is the default IP address 192.168.0.1 and you will get more details on the last page. You can see here your laptop or computer must contain an IP 192.168.0.2254 means you can put a value from 2 to 254. Okay, now I will put. the power cable on the power socket this is the power socket i just connected my switch to the power socket now you can see here the power button is glowing now i need an ethernet cable for the configuration of this switch i just got a power ethernet cable you can see the switch is booting up it will take some time and i will connect the ethernet cable to the first port of the switch now i will press windows and r button then type ncpa.cpl then i will hit enter now you can see here the ethernet card is showing here I will just go to Ethernet card and go to properties. Then I will go to uh, Internet protocol and I, ha I have already put 100 here. Okay. Then I will press OK. OK. Now I will connect the cable to the Ethernet port. This is the one I just connected. Just connected the Ethernet cable to the port. Now I will just hit Windows R. Then I will ping 192.168.0.1 That is the IP of the switch. Okay. Then I will hit enter. The destination host is unreachable. That means it is not connected yet. I just found out that the configuration is not com not yet completed. I just connected my cable on the first port and the first port is not yet glowing. There is an LED indication. I will wait a while. Now you can see here, it's booting up. I will wait till the first 
port LED indication is cloy. Yes. Now you can see the first port LED integration is glowing. Now you can see here the switch is giving some reply. See here, let us go to ncpa.cpl. Here, details. I just put the IP address here, dot 100. Now, I will go to my browser. And I will put the IP address 92.168.0.1. The default username password is admin. Password is also admin. Now I need to put a new password here. Just put a password here. I'm not enabling allow data connection. Okay. Now I want to create a VLAN here. I will go to VLAN and I will type a VLAN here. I am putting 3000 and I will put a name here Delta VLAN and I will select all my ports. I'm just dropping the first port and I just selected 2 to 18. I will click on create. Now you can see here it's on HTTP that is 80 port. I need to change that to 443 that is HTTPS that is a secured one. So I will do that by going to security. Then you can see here HTTPS configuration. I will disable this. After disabling HTTPS, it will not work. You cannot do anything. To start working, you must go to HTTPS. It will show some messages. Will accept the risk. I need to put my credentials again. And I will hit the login button. I don't want to save my credentials. Now you can see here, I just opened that on HTTPS. Now I will go to system and system time. I'm using this in India, that is plus 530. You can see here, I just selected that. And I also want to change the device location to India. I don't want any system contacts. <clears throat> I 
output apply operation succeeded i will check the time oh sorry i actually don't saved the changes after hitting that go to apply You can see the port status here. Unknown, unknown, unknown. This one is connected and the speed is 1000 Mbps. You can see here. The next one is I need to change the IP address. Which I will go to edit features and interface. Then I will edit IPv4. Then I need to put an IP here. My IP of the switch is 192.168.1.10. Okay. Now I will play this. Operation is succeeded, but now the switch will not work. Okay. okay. For that, I need to go to ncpa.cpl and then go to Ethernet, then go to properties, then I need to put the new series IP on the advanced, or I can also change the main page. But I'm just putting that on the advanced. Okay, 1.11. I just add this one on my PC. Just close this one and let me try once more. And you are see blocking this. No issue because I know it is secured. Then I will click login, not now. Now you can see the IP address is, a, is also changed. You can check each and everything. Here it is. And this is a new series. If I need a static routing, then I can put that here. We will check the routing table. It's also on the same type. Okay. Now, if you want to do a port security or something, you can do that from here. You can use Mac binding also. It's also supporting Mac binding. This is all about port security. You can enable. If you enable the port security, then it will give some sort of support for your switch. After completing the whole process, don't forget to save the configuration. Thank you for watching. Thank you.